Welcome to Millennial Motivation. In this video, I'll be talking about Microsoft, ticker MSFT. To begin, Microsoft will be announcing the quarterly earnings report after the market closes on Monday, January 26th. The last five days have been somewhat of a roller coaster ride, with the high of 47.39 early this past Friday and a low of 45.40 last Friday the 16th. Remember, we had a holiday on Monday, so this is not a usual five day chart. Looks like the pivot point of the week was on Wednesday because it seemed like we were headed south early, but Microsoft had an event later in the day which helped surge the price. Microsoft unveiled some important points for the company's future, and with the news and information provided, we opened at 46.47 on Thursday morning. I feel these are important points for the stock as we're showing a support line of 45.50 and a new support line of 46.50 as we closed above that at 47.18 on Friday. Looks like tomorrow will close around 48 since it has shown to be a point of resistance and an, can expect an after hours jump of up to 5% which would take us to the 52 week high at 50.05 which we recently touched on November 14th. The things to look out for on the earnings call will be the HoloLens guidance which will be Microsoft's venture into the virtual and augmented reality. Where Google has decided to shut down Google Glass Microsoft has come out with their version, and it looks like it has the possibility to make some noise in the space. Next is the Windows 10 update. Microsoft has announced that all Windows 7 and 8 customers will be able to update for a year, free. Also, consumers on the Windows Mobile device platform will be able to upgrade. This is great because past versions have required the consumer to purchase and update the operating system by themselves. I see the consumers will want to update their experience and download the update in record numbers. Additionally, with the Windows update, it looks like Xbox will be able to be streamed on a Windows 10 device. That's pretty cool. That's something different. I think these points will help move the stock in the right direction. There is still plenty of downside to hit at $45 since we did see a lot of this info re revealed last Wednesday, but I feel like with the guidance and the outlook for the year ahead and the quarter ahead will help Microsoft have a strong outlook and continue to gain. Thank you for watching my video and please take a second to subscribe to my channel.